My name is Torquil Norman, and my wife Anne and I started a charity some years ago uh, to, for the benefit of young people. And um, I wanted to be involved in, in a project where I could actually contribute with time and effort myself. Anne and I wanted to use some of the money we'd made in the toy industry for children. And we thought that the objective of the charity should be for the recognition and importance of young people. And we were left uh, one of the icons in the iron building world. It's also one of the few round buildings because uh, it was originally uh, uh, a building for looking after the maintenance uh, of uh, railway engines uh, running to and from Birmingham. Uh, but then it was used as a gin and spirits warehouse by Gilby's. And um, it's been an extraordinary, it was preserved in an extraordinary state of, of good order. And so we, our job, obviously, was to preserve it. We used all the original slates that were put on in 1848, 130 years ago, whatever it is. And we tried to keep the whole of the fabric of the building, which is a brick, in its original shape. We've done nothing to spoil that. We mended one piece of cast iron in the roof, which was quite big, which needed, which got broken over the hundred odd years. We had a sort of saying in the early days that if the roundhouse liked it, then we should do it, you know. And we could always tell somehow whether whatever we were about to do got the approval of the roundhouse. And I don't know by what method really, except that um, it uh, has never failed us. So everything that has been done, and a lot has been done mostly with Marcus and his team, were able to equip the roundhouse with the most modern digital equipment, all happening at the very last minute, really. I'm most proud that we actually managed to get it into existence. And I have so many people to thank and so on for that. And I would like to have left the roundhouse in a situation where um, it could do all these things on a national scale and solve the youth uh, problem, if there is one, and there certainly was in those days, and there is to some extent now. But I would like to have been able to, to give them all the chance to do music and that sort of thing. I mean, I remember some little girl saying to me, so what's Polly Pocket got to do with all this? And I said, well, we wouldn't have it without Polly Pocket. And when they discovered I had something to do with Polly Pocket, I was famous. <laughs> Whereas you could build roundhouses and kill yourself in the process dozens of times when no one would notice.